Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be checking out Dark Era from Best Service. Very excited to get a brand new sample library from the talented Eduardo Taralante. Dark Era is the sample library he's been working on creating instruments of ancient pagan and Viking instruments. Library includes ancient stringed harps, gut stringed lyres, nomadic bone flutes, and sound of war horns with thunderous percussion, as well as mystical throat chants. This library downloads is a little over 15 gigabytes. It's a collection of ancient pagan and Viking instruments. Many of these instruments were handmade and sampled just for this collection. The library contains 50 different instruments, 17 wind and 33 drone percussion presets. There's a variety of techniques captured, including true legato and articulation key switching. There's strings with multiple round robins for ups and downed bows, as well as plucked uh, articulations with plectrum, fingered, and strum articulations. The library comes with bowed strings, plucked strings, winds, percussion, and sound design elements with over 100 soundscapes, epic loops, rhythmic pads, and vocal rhythms. It does require the free engine version 2.6.0.24 or higher, so be sure to head over to get that brand new version of the engine. If you did register any of the era instruments that have been previously released by Eduardo. Uh, log in over at Best Service and check. So you should have a cross-grade price, I think, until the end of March. It'll save you a little bit of dough. Alright, this video, we're just going to do a first look. I'm just going to play through a number of the presets included. We've got uh, main categories for instruments, sound design, and voices. The instruments start off with percussion uh, let's just load up um, Jawbone just for fun. And you can see we've got uh, expression here on the instrument as well as pitch controls, verb. Here's a dry sample. Then we got some color. And pan and volume. So speed controls, this is kind of cool. Doesn't actually change the pitch. Just chase the sample playback a little bit. So that's kind of nice. All right, let's dig on through. Uh, you know what? I'm going to jump up. Let's listen to some of these uh, bowed strings. They always do these live instruments that are so much fun to play. Here we go here. Let's see if I can whip up a real beauty for you. Yeah, I think that with a little bit of expression, you could get some very nice performances out of this. We got the really nice that you can hear the bows. We got different bow controls here, bow, bow length, bow noise. Yeah, that adds a lot. It's a lot of verb, and I don't want to be dismissive. I know that a lot of the era instruments load up with a lot of verb, which makes them sound really nice. It's a nice verb. I always like to... Turn it off just to hear what I'm dealing with to start with. And then uh, right now we've got expression. 
queued in on our uh, mod wheel. So that's giving um, the sound of intensity of the performer. I'm going to continue to play these live ones. Here's some, uh, some are these bagpipes? Big, uh, take a harp hop back. Sounds really nice. Again, there's a lot of verb on these. I like to just get a feel for what our sample set sounds like without it. of these string bowed instruments. Yeah, they really captured some nice bow noise throughout this. Okay, let's check out a little bit of the percussion here. Looks like we got a couple of key switches down here. So different hits, you can see right up here in the interface, it's telling us which set of hits we are triggering with our key switches. So that's an anvil. I've also got a number of percussion. Just randomly choose some here. Horseshoe. shakers here. Love when you hear that bite. Another thing I do is just to listen to it. Actually, there's a little V River button here. I can just press that to turn it off. Looks like we've got some little uh, performances here. That's kind of cool. Little flams. 
some little ornamentations. And again, there's a lot of verb on that, but I think I like the sound of it. Uh, probably pull the verb a little bit back. Really works well for cinematic kind of stuff. Small bells. Roman to Romano tomb timpani. Boy, that is got a lot of thump. So that's pretty cool. These key switches are giving you different kinds of muted, it sounds like, muted tones for your playback. Let's go ahead and uh, let's play a uh, mouth harp here. first sounds. You got control over your um, samples here. You got voice samples and the length of the voice and the harp sound. Okay, let's go ahead and check out some of the uh, plucked instruments. Ancient lunar. Got uh, another couple layers, a strummed version. Nice. It looks like we've got key switching. So we got key switches. And then our performances are here for our strums. We got our additional notes. And then we got the strum patterns right here. Let's see if these are tempo synced. Yep. I went from 120 to 140. You could hear those speeding up there. We've got a multi sampled version, it looks like. Fingered, plucked, and harmonics. So, um, this is the lute. Got a lot of controls here. You've got your vibrato, vibrato speed, noises, crackles, vox, a lot of cool stuff. And then some little noises up here. Your key switches at the bottom, you see it goes from sustain to legato. 
Yeah, that's really nice. I really like that one. Let's move along to some wind instruments. Bone flute. Get some ornamentation. Like we got quite a few of these winds. There was 17 different wind instruments. Let's check out uh, this vulture bone flute. These are the effects. Okay, it's nice to have those, especially when you also have a multi sampled version of this sample set. Now the only thing which I'm, on this one, I'm not getting any expression from uh, my mod wheel, so it's very loud. We've got sustain, vibrato, a couple different ornaments and trills. But having a multi-sampled version with all those articulations and the effects is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to... Hmm, let's listen to the... the Fujara loop. Fujara loops? So these are different loops across your white keys. And then your key, uh, your root, is the yellow keys. Yeah, that's pretty cool, especially because you got um, them delivered as effects, performance loops in different tempos, and as a multi-sampled instrument. And we've got Legato with Attack. And tuplets. We got some control over our vibrato here and vibrato speed. That's got a really nice air to it. Okay, let's listen to these big horns. Oh my goodness. It looks like there's quite a few of these. We've got uh, these different key switches here. So I'm going to play just this C. These are all different horn calls. This is a great patch. Yeah. Oh, Eduardo. Oh, I love what you're doing here. This is a fun instrumental.
um, several more horns. That was the big horn call. Buchen horn calls. This must be a little -er horn. Viking Miles Davis in the house. Uh, again, another set of key switches for uh, changing up your samples for those horns. And let's see what else we got. Curved horn call. Oh, boy. Mm, a lot of reverb here, guys. Very, uh, very dry studio sound up front there. So depending on, on what you're looking for, you know, I personally uh, dial this back just a little bit. That's still a lot of verb, in my opinion. All kinds of great calls there. So, uh, check out some more of the horn calls here. Uh, long trumpets. Plenty of splat, that's for sure. Quite a few different sample sets load up there on those key switches. Yeah, I want to listen to all of these horns, as I'm sure you do too, but I got plenty more material to get to here. So much character in these. More horn calls. Big sample set here too. Look at all these yellow key switches. overtone instruments. So let's just listen to the overtone. It looks like this is a multi-sampled legato. Ah, beautiful flute. Key switching for legato. Uh, we've got a few more trills. Expressive vibrato with vibrato controls at the bottom of the instrument. It can be key switched. Some triplets. And staccato. That is a beautiful sounding instrument and if you noticed, this overtone flute here also comes with two different patches of effects and loops. 
Let's just listen to some of these effects real quick. Yeah. The great thing about having these um, effects and the multi-sampled instruments and these loops is once you learn the instrument and use them all together, you can get some uh, really unbelievable performances. Yeah, that's really great. So that's just one of the three different loop patches for that overtone instruments. And uh, picks dish pipes. So we got drones down here. And up here are other instruments. And then down here, you see, we've also got another set of not as present. Maybe that's a different sound hole that they sampled. I don't really know what... Um, Ornamentations and the key switching. I'm having a little weird uh, pitch shift there with that one. I'm not sure what that is. All right, let's move along. Epic loops in the sound design category. I think we're in for a real treat here. So we got some hits through the red area. Blue is our percussive loops, and the green is our green is our uh, some kind of synthy hit. Okay, now we're at 120. This is a Approach Battle 120 BPM uh, preset. But what I want to do is make sure or find out, is this tempo sync? Yep. That's great. So the original re-recorded tempo is 120. That does not mean that the instrument is limited to playing back at 120. You know, I could see stretching it up 40 BPM down or up um, until you really might start to hear something normally, but even at that lower speed, when I was at 90, it still was holding up really well. Yeah, this is really fun. Really fun instruments. Just gonna scream through a few.
so much bite. Listen to one more uh, tribal war. really easy to start creating something epic some really fun cue out of that so this is the epic loop sound designs here's the rhythmic patches rhythmic pads excuse me uh and we're just gonna check out a few Yeah, so at the bottom we've got our, our rhythmic loop going on, and then we've got a melodic instrument in the uh, white keys. It's really fun. These are great for starter instruments. Chase, here's a chase preset. See what else we got with these fearless presets, and you saw there's multiple versions of these different ones. Yeah, very easy to start creating something right away with these. Sorcery, hunt, trail. Let's listen to trail. Fun stuff. You can tell I'm already getting carried away and being transported. Let's check out some of the soundscapes. There's still plenty more of these rhythmic pads. Uh, let's listen to a few of these soundscapes here. Um. Instant underscore. That should be on a part of the opening sentence for promoting the review. Aptly named Dread Forest for that one. Oh, 
detuning in that one. That's really cool. So quite a, a few more of these soundscapes here. We're just touching. Like I think uh, I could spend the whole a whole video just on the soundscapes. I got a little bit of weird uh, pitch shift that I'm not doing. I wonder if my controller is going bad. Spilled one too many cups of coffee on it. Let's move on to the voices into Inuit vocal rhythms. Oh, this is great. So the green keys are playing a uh, MIDI sequence tempo synced from the white key samples. Yeah. So that was very specialized, but creative, done in a very creative way. Shamanic invocations. A not old in your lower soul. All in any of hell. I can love it to me and I. Oh. Yeah, these are really cool too. Some shouts. Pa, mo, ha, tu. And throat singing, legato versions. Ooh. Got some different key switches. Let's see what else we got for the voices. Uh, looks like we got a uh, couple different Sigat. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that. Let's see what we got going on here. Key switches in yellow. Then we got a red key for. <gasps> got so this is our drone a little bit of more intensity with each of those ascending white keys and then we got some uh, our key switches across the bottom are changing our uh, triggered root Overtone singing. Oh, I love overtone singing. Uh, blending there really gives you that it opens up that uh, vowels it's really nice um, whispered shouts we get staccato across the bottom and longer notes across the top there and we only got one more patch whispers Okay, so we got our key switch for shorts, and then a uh, key switch for longer whispers. 
Oh, it tickles the ear. That is going to wrap it up for today's video here. Checking out Dark Era. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you sticking around, checking it out. I am thrilled with what Eduardo Torralante has delivered here. I thank each collection uh, instrument that he delivers somehow he tops himself every time and dark era definitely does that so much usable stuff and such a unique library in that you're not going to find a lot of this stuff um, in a collection like this anywhere else with this high quality and with the functionality um, articulations legatos and whatnot Thanks for checking out the video. Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. Are you going to be picking up Dark Era? And are you a fan of Mr. Eduardo Terralante? Give me a big shout out in the bottom if you are. Love your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to have or to sample librarianreview.com for latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.